Do you want to watch the world burn or do you just not like managing your spellbook? In that case, I got a build for you. What started off as a quirky and fun build idea became an interesting thought experiment. How many fireballs can we throw a day? Guess what? I got a fever and the only prescription it's more fire at all. Today, I bring to you the Fireball Fountain, who's going to answer that question for us. In order to play the Fireball Fountain, you are going to need to be a tiefling of some sort, and you're going to need to be a draconic soul sorcerer. As for flavor, we are a tiefling as well as a dragon soul sorcerer. You kind of mix those two flavors to get, and you're like this demonic dragon character, which reminds me of Tiamat. So maybe we're like the grandson of Tiamat, but like only the redhead portion. As for our stats, our primary is in charisma. Our secondary is going to be in constitution and our tertiary is going to be dexterity. Now there's many different routes to take with this after we hit level 11, but up to level 10, we're going to be doing the exact same thing no matter what. We're going to be going 10 levels into Dragon Soul Sorcerer Fire version. Why? Well, because we can transfer our first and second level spell slots into third level spell slots via sorcery points, as well as take our innate sorcery points and change them into third level spell slots, we're going to get more third level spell slots than anyone else can produce. For example, at level 5, we're going to have two spell slots for Fireball. That's what everyone else could cast, but we're a dragon soul sorcerer. So what that means is that we can change our first level spell slots to four sorcery points and our second level spell slots to six sorcery points for a total of 10 sorcery points. Add five more that comes from our innate sorcery points. So we have 15 sorcery points that we can turn into three third level spell slots. We can toss five fireballs a day starting at level five. Not only are we going to be tossing a lot of fireballs, we're also going to want to make sure their quality is high. So by going dragon soul sorcerer, once we hit level six, we get to add our charisma modifier to a single damage roll that includes fire damage. This includes fireball, so now not only are we tossing a ton of them, they're going to be high impact fireballs. It doesn't end there though. We're gonna be taking the Flames of Flagathos feat. This allows us to re-roll ones on our fireball damage rolls, which is going to increase our average damage significantly. When you're rolling so many dice, some of them are bound to be ones, and we're taking something one and changing it to an average of around 3.5. This is going to increase our damage output, and is the main reason we're going to be going into tiefling. Now, if your DM will allow you to go wing tiefling, great, more power to you. If they do not allow you to go into wing tiefling, go into Mephistopheles, whatever it is. Now, after we have Flames of Phlegathos, I am going to go invest into Charisma until we maximize it. But after that, I'm going to be taking the Elemental Adept Fire Feet. I do realize this isn't optimal, but I am committed to the theme here, so work with me on this one. What this is going to do is it's going to remove the resistance to fire damage we face. People who are immune will still be immune, but people who are resistant will no longer be resistant to our fire damage, which vastly expands the amount of people we can blow up. On top of that, even if we re-roll a one and it gets a one again, normally you'd have to keep that with Flames of Phlegathos, but by having Elemental Adept, it changes that one to a two, so we can no longer roll ones ever. Now, an interesting discussion begins from 11th level onwards. Most levels aren't even getting to there, so you have your build. But let's say that you're going into deep levels. Let's get theory crafting here. Well, let's go the route that's going to give you the most fireballs possible that I was able to figure out. If you guys prove me wrong, I'd love to hear it in the comments down below. How I got the most fireballs is taking five levels into Warlock to get those six third level fireballs throughout the day if you get two short rests, and then the last five into Sorcerer, all coming together for a total of 20 fireballs a day. Now, although we get the most amount of fireballs going this route, they're not the highest quality of fireballs. For example, if we took one more level in Warlock and one less in Sorcerer, we end up having two less fireballs, so we have eight in total. However, we pick up the Celestial Warlock's second buff to fire damage. So now each of our fireballs are double buffed, which essentially means they're all being upcast plus a little bit extra. So although we have less damage output, we get about an average of 90 extra damage a day by having those two less fireballs, and that's per person hit. But that's not the most damage output we can get. If we go all 20 levels into Sorcerer, because we're casting ninth level fireballs, they upcast at such a significant significant degree and they have a single buff that we end up producing on average 125.8 times the average amount of people you hit throughout the day. That's a lot of damage. That's a lot of fireball. I want to give a special shout out to one of our Patreon members, Fledgling. Fledgling has been a long time viewer and commenter on our channel and has come up with some incredible builds. Thank you so much for your support, my man. If you want to show support to the channel as well as get some awesome benefits along the way, consider checking out our Patreon. But with that, my friends, I hope you have yourselves an incredible day and I'll catch you on the next one. See you then.